Hello, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Chasm. We are in the catacombs exactly where we left off. Now, we need to make it okay. So there's this. Uh, hopefully I don't fall. Ow. Okay, well whatever. We took a little bit of damage, but it's all good. Don't break. Yes, so we gotta cross that. Perfect. I think we had to. It wasn't, uh... wasn't the way to... Oh, yeah, some kind of treasure. Okay, so we're saved. Now, let's check out the map. Alright, we could go up, probably. Actually, I don't know. I don't think we can get up there. Give me that. We got a lot of money. Lots of monies. We can't get up there. Okay. <laughs> what a newbie. <laughs> so if you level up, do we get... Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay. Well, thank you for breaking that for me. Okay, so I just have to jump when it's coming back, probably. I think there's a boss. Is that a boss mm, banner? No. Stop that. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Cobra. So last episode I was talking about Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And one of my favorite things, one of my favorite memories from that was farming for the Chrisa, Chrisa Grim. Also, the duplicator. There was an item, I think it was called the duplicator, right? Very rare. Or you had to buy it. It was very expensive, right? I think, but it allowed you to basically cheat the game. So good. Just like uh, the W item from Final Fantasy VII. I'm sure it was probably in another one as well. Well, we got mana, so let's use it. So we don't get knocked into this applesauce down here. Or blood. Toxic blood. So far, I mean, we've only been to two areas, but this area is really nice. I like this. The chasm. I mean, not the chasm. <laughs> the catacombs. Ow. So that's a little tricky. Okay, so those blocks are going to break up there. But we did it. We got the treasure. War Club. We already had one. Well, I guess we could sell that. Wait. Yeah, okay. Can we sort our inventory? It doesn't look like we can. Oh, no. Don't do that. Keep that leather whip on. Although we do have this. The War Club is 24. That's 23. I love the whip, man. It does 18 damage. That's not that much of a difference. I could always put on my uh, other thing. Did we? OK, we got to go down here. Perhaps. I love that ability. Ow. Don't like that at all. <laughs> You're getting punished for that. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, we got chicken. Turkey leg. Nice. Okay. So, is there a reason why I would want to... I guess not. Okay. Oh, great. We got ghosts. Okay. Or whatever they are. Poltergeists. Eh. All right. Whoa. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know how much damage that does if we fall in that sauce. Don't want to try it. Don't want to take a dip. Don't feel up to it. Ow. <laughs> okay. 
So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Now, I kind of want to check what's down, but let's go over here first. Alright, we got these. So we just gotta jump. Yeah, these are easy. No problem. Love it. And we get brass knuckles. Is that a weapon? It is. 23, a metal bar that concentrates the force of your punches. Oh, wow. We have to try that. It's probably like hard mode. Yeah. But you can punch fast. That hurt. Oh, my God. Let's heal. Um... So we got a token. We got to try that this episode. I said I would. Let's eat an apple. Oh, yeah. And then let's equip the whip again. My favorite weapon in the entire world. So good. So I can pretend I'm Indiana Jones or Simon Belmont. Okay. So I want to check down there first. I don't know if this is faster. It might be, or it might just be the same. I don't know. Don't do that. Ah, that was... Fooled me a little bit. Give me that ruby. Boom. Okay. We only have 18 HP. Oh, God. So, did we already... Yeah, we came from that way. So, there was nothing down here. Oh, there is. Yeah. Oh, hello there, buddy. This this place is incredible. I have learned more about the Lodori in the last hour than I have in the past year. Many artifacts are buried here among the dead, but this one is the most intriguing. These inscriptions say that Ulak ordered the sh shaman. I don't know why I always say shaman shaman. It's just shaman's the first thing that comes to mind, but I like saying shaman better. Whatever. To move his people underground. Then the tribe turned its attention to the construction of the temple you see in this carving. It goes on to say that countless generations of Ladori died during the construction of the temple. Their remains were placed in these catacombs to await the Age of Darkness, when they would rise again. If they built this temple, where could it be? And why was it so important? Please, continue on without me and see what else you can find. Sure, I will catch up when I finish here. Boss fight time. Um... Entry number four. To my astonishment, we have discovered the Lodori tribe's burial ground. The corridors seem to twist for miles in all directions. The question of where the Lodori went has been answered, but another has sprung up in its place. What is this temple they ded dedicated their lives to building? It must be important, as the inscriptions say countless generations perished during its construction. Their remains were placed here in the catacombs to await the Age of Darkness, when they believed they would be resurrected. Okay. I don't really want to go over there. Um, I need to backtrack a minute here, because I think there's going to be a boss right in that next room. I want to see if we find, like, a save statue. Hey, grab that. Oh, oh my, that did 17 damage. Dude, I don't want to die. Let's eat a carrot. 21 HP, 53, 30. Yeah, I wish there was an inventory sorting system as well. Since it doesn't automatically sort it, you know? Oh, come on. I'm trying not to get that happening. Dude, we just got poison in our eyes twice. Get out of here. I like when you kill them their boomerang actually disappears. You know, after they throw it. Get out of here. <laughs> so we could die very easily here. You know what I'm going to do? We are going to equip this other leather belt. Our magic goes down, our intelligence goes down, but everything else goes up by two, except for one, whatever. Two and one. Good stuff. 
Okay. Um, keep the whip on. Because I'm I play the best with the whip for now. We got a spider. But the boss might be a spider. Maybe the boss is This is the boss right here. Okay. Yeah, right? Yeah, there's a locked door on that side. Let's not do go that way. Okay, we have to. I'm gonna play this safe. We almost got killed. I don't know how much damage everything does. I know that the. Co yes! Excellent. Okay, never mind. Now we can get hit if we want to. Let's try not to, though, especially on these guys. It's easy to dodge them. Okay, go away. Shut up. Stop that. Draw me your boomerang, mister. Okay, this is probably a save room and oh, no, it's not. What? So there was a boss up there. Maybe it wasn't a boss up there. Where do I go? Um, I guess we're going to keep going this way for now. Okay. Oh, look at this. There's some kind of puzzle. 262. Oh, wow. Felix Farron, entry number one. It's been a long and perilous journey, but I believe we are nearly upon King Trell's castle. If the lost treasure of Linhein are just beyond this gate, then the information we paid for will be worth every penny. That clumsy fool, Drake, stepped on a trap plate and collapsed the passage we entered through, so we have no other option but to push forward. This lock is vexing, however. It looks much newer than the rest of the catacombs, as do these symbols. What could they mean? I've cracked a lot of locks in my time, but I've never seen anything like this. Perhaps we should just put the, pull the lever and find out what happens. Maybe? Let's check over here. Okay, we can actually head back. Dude, things are getting... Okay, let's just see where this goes first. I don't even know where we are now. Okay. Oh, wait. So, we're right there. Okay. Oh. Whatever, I don't know. It doesn't, eat, like, have a location on the map, those rooms. So, I don't want to pull that at the moment. But I guess we will. Of course, I knew that was going to happen. Where are we going now? Oh, man. Amazing. I knew that was going to happen, but I wanted to try it anyway. So, it looks like we're not going to fight that boss yet. So I'm doing tons of damage. Oh my god, okay. Get, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> this guy is cool. It's Super Meat Boy. <laughs> Steak Man. <laughs> he's probably, what, like, technically, he's probably like a flesh golem, you think? I'm just gonna call him Meat Boy. Um... I don't know. We'll try going up this way. Oh, great. Well. Ow. Alright. Oh, man. Traps. I love traps. I, ow, I forgot they fall. Okay, what are you? Okay. Oh my god, you hurt. I might want to go back. Use my scroll to get back to town. This place is huge. Uh... Huge. <laughs> All right. 
let's see what we got over here. All right. I love that the platforming is getting more intense. I love that there are traps. Like, I love catacombs and, like, evil temple areas in games. Felix Farron, entry number two. After we finally worked up the courage to pull the lever, Drake and I split up to look for clues. I, to look for clues. I discovered frescoes down here that I believe contain clues to opening the gate. If I'm correct, there should be three frescoes total, so I'll retrace my steps and hunt down the others. I hope Drake didn't get himself completely turned around. He's a lunkhead, but I could really use his help fending off these monsters. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight soldiers, and then the king in the middle. Okay. So maybe the first number on the lock is eight. All right. Perhaps, oh, we can't get up there. We get antidote recipe, yes. Okay, so we're gonna fight something here. The boss probably poisons you. Where do we go? I guess we gotta go back this way. That's awesome. Gotta backtrack. Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, not you. Remember, you are a Belmont. Oh, oops. I jumped to the gun a little bit. Jump to the dark. Alright. Ow! Ah! We gotta heal. Probably eat that bread. 20 HP. Loaf freshly. Let's do it. It looked a little moldy, but whatever. Said it was fresh. Um, alright. We got a meat boy over here. He's not too bright. We don't do much damage with our daggers anymore, but it's okay. Spider. I'm gonna make some spider cider. Ah. Alright. Yet, oh, we got another token. Yes. Still. Oh, I still love the whip. Thanks for the help, my friend. I'm Dom, the local blacksmith, yes. I wish I could help you clear out these corridors, but I'm better at making swords than wielding them. Stop by my shop in Carthus sometime. I will give you a nice deal on some new equipment. Excellent. He just teleported back to town. Okay. So, we gotta go over there and down, probably. Perfect. Give me that money. So we could buy, I'm gonna buy another magic spell. Maybe the shield would be nice. I don't know. There's so much stuff. <laughs> There's so much that I want. Get out of here, meat boy. Oh, that was close. A little spider kiss. Okay, now. I think we got another, yep, another meat boy. Another meat head. Just can't get greedy. You know, you want to attack three times, but it... Oops. Oh, you're not dead? I thought it killed itself on my face. At least the boomerang skeletons... They, uh... What was over here that we didn't... We couldn't reach? Oh, yeah, it was... We fell down. All right. At least the boomerang skeletons, they, uh... You can interrupt their attacks, kinda. You shut up. Oh, no. 
<laughs> um, wait, hang on. Let me, let's actually see if there's a, oh no, no way. Do not want to deal with that. Fireballs, oh. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, step right up and spin the wheel of fate. This wheel is for those who like to put it all on the line. But be careful. Just like life, it doesn't always come up roses. Will you spin the wheel of fate? Ah, oh, man. Sure, let's do it. Good luck, we have to. Oh, great. Oh my god, is this permanent? Please give me something good, please give me something good. You win another spin. Oh man. Okay. Let's go. Please give me something good. Please give me something good. Good, 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 good. Positive, positive, positive thoughts. Good, good, good. Please. No. Okay. Max MP plus two. We've got ourselves a winner. It seems Lady Luck was on your side this time. Perhaps we'll cross paths again. That's awesome. So I got more mana. Nice. That's really cool. Of course, it would suck to get, like, <laughs> negative ones. Okay. Like, permanently? I'm pretty sure that's permanent. So we have to... Let's just see. Let's kill these guys. And see if we level up. Wait, how much? I could check that. Uh, next level, 50. We just need 50 XP. This guy's new. Come here, buddy. Need to put you on the endangered species list. Okay, let's just kill a couple guys in here until we level up. Ow. Uh, 27, okay. Ah. See, the point of this was... This is really stupid. I have to heal. The point of it leveling up was to not have to heal, but... So, let's use that. Eat a turkey leg. It's good, we need to eat anyway. All right, so now, just in case, because I'm pretty sure if we get hit by, or if we got hit by anything, it would probably kill us. Yes, Meat Man. It is Meat Man, not Meat Boy. Meat Man. <laughs> That's amazing. I wonder if it drops, like, meat. Probably. Little meat chunks. Yummy. Ah, oh, dude, no way. Well, we just, that was dumb. Now we gotta fight this guy. Okay. How many do you spit? All right, this is cool. Very, very nice. Ow. Okay. Was that five? Bone Devil. So that was another boss. That was like a mini boss. Let's check him out real quick. Still, I wish that it gave you uh, a description. Yeah, Brass Knuckles and War Club. Skeleton, that's all. That's just what they're called. Spider Meat Man. We do not know what Meat Man drops. That guy, this was the best enemy so far. That was awesome. Okay. And it drops nothing. I think it said none instead of like question mark. Man. I wish we would have fought that boss all the way up top. I, I'm assuming it was a boss before we fell down to the lower crypts or whatever you want to call it. I feel like we should go up first, instead of deeper. Because I feel like this whole game is going deeper and deeper down the chasm, you know? So let's head up. Let's actually peek our heads in here. Oh, look at this. Okay, so there's no note here, but there's one star, one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So was it eight, six, maybe? Eight, six, and then one more number. 
to open the giant pad. Ah, oh. wait a minute. Look at this. We can climb back up. Oh my. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to end this one here, guys, because we because we got here to a save safe zone, save spot. We have to save it here or we have to end it here. But next time we we'll save again. I'm going to go down there first, I think, and then we're going to head back up and do all that. And I'm sorry we didn't go back to town. We didn't figure out we didn't talk to those new NPCs, the blacksmith and the other gambler guy. We didn't find out what the tokens are used for. We'll do that soon. Ne we'll go back to town as soon as I get a good chance to. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm having a blast playing this game. I hope that you're enjoying watching it. Anyway, see ya. Thank you. Peace out.